I think to fully appreciate the bikes, you've got to go to a venue where you can try them in conditions somewhat similar to how the typical trail rider would use the bike. So in this facility here, we've got a mix of terrain and rocks and trail, and then there's grass track areas. So it gives you a good mix of riding conditions. Also, I like to have fun, so, you know, might as well go somewhere where we're gonna enjoy ourselves and have a bit of fun. first thing that people will see when they look at the bikes is the new bodywork and the new chassis. One of the big things is to actually isolate the shock forces from the backbone of the frame. They've achieved this by making their own little shock tower separate to the backbone of the frame. So that's one of the big improvements on the 2012 EXC chassis lock. In Europe they're very tough on noise so they had to lower the noise of the bike. Now normally they would do that by restricting the outlet. The KDM thought of a different way of achieving it and they've actually made the muffler volume bigger, so the outside casing bigger, and allowed the packing to absorb the noise, which allowed them to maintain the, the same diameter outlet. So no change in performance, but quite a few dB lower in noise output. The new bike now has a steel basket, so this will last the life of the bike, incredible wear. And the inner hub is aluminium, but has steel poles that the plates run on. So again, the inner hub will never wear out. Now the trick was to actually incorporate a cush drive into this. So instead of running it, the cush drive in the basket, they now run it in the inner hub. Of course, that doesn't leave room for coiled springs. So they've come up with the idea of a spring diaphragm. So essentially it is a wave washer, if you like, that as you bolt down, tensions the washer. The beauty of this is that when you pull the clutch in, the clutch gets lighter as it comes to your hand and heavier as it goes out to the extension. The other thing is as the clutch plates wear, it remains tension on the plates all the time. So there's no slippage when the plates start wearing out. It's actually simpler, it's very good, very good. So it was all designed to simplify the bike. As an enduro motor, they've lowered the RPM limit, they've lowered the compression ratio so that you can run 98, 95 octane fuel in it. And really that 1000 RPM, it's amazing how much stress it takes away from the motor. So it's a real performance motor, but they've really thought about the reliability and durability and they've lowered the RPM, lowered the compression ratio and put in a very good filtration system. So the, the service intervals will be very similar to your normal EXC enduro bike. You know, it's a very high performing engine for its capacity, so it should suit a real broad range of riders, you know, definitely. I think someone that weighs around 80, 85 kilos, the bike's perfect for. I think the bike really shines in the tight stuff. The lightness of the bike turning in the tight terrain is awesome, especially like in off camber corners and when the trail gets a bit greasy, the traction's unbelievable. Almost the end of the KTM 2012 model EXC launch and today we focused on the 350 EXCF. Now let me tell you this is a real beauty. It certainly is an enduro model. It's not the SX model just dumbed down to be an enduro bike. This is an enduro purpose bike. It comes standard with some great Renthal grips and Renthal bars. Comes with the motocross gas and I really like that setup. Now a few other little things that it comes with is it's got a hand grip at the back just to be able to move the bike around. EFI doesn't come with a fuel tap, but KTM have come up with a great idea with a little drain plug right at the bottom of the fuel tank there that you can undo and get a bit of fuel out so you can help your mate if it runs out of fuel. I really enjoy the power of the EXC 350F. I normally ride 250s and this bike really has a great smooth power range all the way through and it's a little bit punchier than a 250 which makes it a little bit more exciting and a bit more enjoyable to ride. It turns very, very well, it tracks very, very well and with the smooth power on it, you have no problems at all getting around the bush on it. Overall, I really enjoyed myself today. I had a ball on the KTM 350 EXCF. If you're somebody that rides in the bush on a 450 and gets tired at the end of the day, have a look at one of these. If you ride a 250 in the bush and you want a bit more power, have a look at one of these. What more can I say about it, but it's a great bike. Go out and test it today.